Never before has the government spent so much to supercharge the economy at a time when we weren't in recession. The budget figures show we're already out of recession. Employment, economic growth is back to where it was. Yet, faced with riches coming in from a much higher than expected iron ore price and a much faster than expected return to full employment or something near full employment, the government has decided to spend those riches. It's getting at the order of 20 billion a year in. It's spending it um, money it doesn't need to spend, except that it wants to drive the unemployment rate down lower. It wants to get it below 5% to something beginning with a four. Now, is that achievable? The government's budget strategy on the, on the words published in the strategy says it'll keep spending until that's achieved. The big ticket items sort of write themselves. There's the 17.7 billion on aged care, a very large amount, uh, more than 7 billion on extending the middle income tax cuts for another year, and about another 17 on uh, another tax break for business, an instant asset write off, extending that. That explains a lot of the money, but there's a lot of small expenditures, a lot of them designed to target employment. You really can't get unemployment down as low as they want to without giving unemployed people jobs. And so there are a lot of measures involved in training, involved in working with people to get them into jobs. It's not like the previous coalition budgets we've seen, and it'll be very hard for Labor to work out how to respond. They did that on Thursday.